Hello, I am Matthias and welcome to a new tutorial. It's been a while since my last video, but now I hope we can get back to normal. And how, if not by looking at all the new features of FL Studio, which were released in the new beta cycle for the upcoming version 21. This time, because of the pure amount of new additions, I will split them into dedicated videos for the bigger features and one or two where we will have a look at all the minor stuff. The first big feature, which was released in Beta 1 and was quite a surprise, as there was no talk about, is a complete overhauled new browser. A little disclaimer first. I am still no expert about all of this new stuff and I'm pretty sure I will miss the one or the other change, but I hope I will cover the most. So let's dive straight in. Let's talk first about the graphics. This was the biggest size the browser could be expanded to before. The new browser gets much bigger. We have now different icons on the top and in the new browser the option to choose if there shall be just icons, text only or automatic. Which means the smaller the size, the more you just get icons over just text up to having both shown. As already mentioned, we have now two additional tabs. The library shows you the content available from ImageLine for FL Studio, like sample packs and presets, both free and payware, which you can purchase directly out of FL Studio. Last but not least, we have now a tab called Start. Here are appearing your favorites. My list is empty at the moment, because I didn't set any favorites until now. But going to some samples, we can now make them favorites with this little star icon which works with all kinds of files in your browser and for instance plugins too. You can unfavorite the files of course as well. Another change is that the little magnifying glass has disappeared and went to its own search bar, which you can leave on the bottom like it is set by default or you tick the option to set it to the top, what I prefer. Many options from the original browser menu have disappeared and are located now in the right-click menu available for every tab. Means we have now per tab options, for example the size, if folder icons shall be shown or how the content shall be sorted. By the way, there was a change to how the grouping behavior works in the tabs, which you may like or not, I do not. I have my own custom folders in which I work by far the most and I gave them a name in the browser that by sorting by name they appear on the top of the list. With the grouping feature enabled, they are located more in the middle of the list though, as some FL Studio folders seem to be higher in ranking. In the previous versions, by unchecking the grouping feature, it gets the way I like it to be. Everything gets sorted by name. In the new version, I have the same situation, but unchecking the grouping leaves nevertheless a bunch of FL Studio folders on the top of the list. If this bothers you like it does me, there's a little hack you can use. Navigate to your FL Studio beta installation folder, data, patches. Sorry for the German Windows version, but go to the view and enable hidden files. After doing so, you should see some info files having the same name like some of the folders. Especially these which appear still on the top of the list instead of being sorted by name. Open the corresponding info files for these folders and make this sign and a space in front of this option. If you don't find this sign on your keyboard, just copy it down from the previous line. Save the info file. This way, you disable the order override without having to delete anything. Repeat this step in the other related info files until you have everything out of the way. Make copies of the edited info files as they will be overwritten when you install new versions that you can copy them back. Back to our new features. You might have wondered why I have hidden all the time something from you. This is a new feature many of you have waited for a long time. Let's lift the secret. Tags. 
there are already a few predefined like showing the favorites or plugins which are present in your plugin database and just different VST formats installed on your system. But you can create your own and tag your complete library if you wish so. Let's go into the Packs folder. Take a clap here and tag it. Clap. Boring, I know. But just for the sake of this tutorial. As soon as you have created a new tag, it will appear on the top and will be available in the right click menu for easier access. You just have to check the option for others you like to tag the same way. Uncheck if you want to exclude the file or delete the whole tag. Tagging works for files and plugins as far as I have noticed, but feel free to experiment. I'm not very into tagging and will leave it by just showing this far, but I'm sure many of you will love it. There's another new addition which I was waiting for a long time. Well, actually two. The first one is a per tab option and has the simple name Show Preview. Hmm, no difference, but watch this. Play and stop button. Volume. And shift click into the waveform to play from this position. Yes. But still, I wasn't happy with it. Did I already mention that I hate this 5 seconds preview limit in FL Studio? Because I, and most probably many others, were constantly whining. There was included some time ago the option to alt-click a sample to preview it full length. Already better, but this just works with mouse clicking, while my preferred preview methods were always the arrow keys. And this alt method wasn't working there. But this is gone now. While the alt modifier still works, there is a new general option. Full sample preview. And this now works with my beloved arrow keys as well. One problem is still left for me though, there is no loop sample button. If full sample preview is enabled, it always stops at the end of the sample. Even if the sequencer is playing, it doesn't loop. With this option turned off, it loops. But here we are again with the lovely 5 seconds preview limit. I wish they would really get rid of this limit and implement a button into the preview, where every user can decide if the sample shall loop or not. Luckily, you don't need to turn off the full sample preview every time when previewing something which shall loop. Just use Alt left click to temporarily override it. As well as it still works for those not enabling this method, but wanting just to preview a single sample full length. The final big change in the new browser I am aware of are the different view layouts, which can be set per tab. The default one is Base, which shows the browser content the way we know from before. The tree view separates the folders on the left side from the containing files on the right. The Samples mode gives you basically the preview window for each sample. This can be quite helpful to already judge by looking at the images. Like for example, are you looking for a shorter or longer sound? Or a more cleaner or distorted kick? If you know how a sound looks like in the waveform, it can be quite easy to find sound this way. For instance, Attack Kick 1 seems to be more distorted than Attack Kick 11, 12 or 13. or attack kick 4 seems to be much shorter than number 1 or 9. The view layouts depend though which tab you have selected. 
The Project tab doesn't have the Samples mode. The Plugins tab has a Plugins mode instead, for which you should have the option Show Images enabled. And the Library and Start tabs don't have any layouts at all. There is an additional new setting which might come in handy when doing searches in Base View layout, for example by searching plugins. In the plugin database, plugins appear at least in two places the category or subfolder they are added to by the user or coming with your FL Studio installation, and in the Install section, where FL Studio saves all plugins it found during a plugin scan. If I search for example for delay, I get here a lot of entries with many doubles. I don't know where they are located. The general options show parent folders in search results helps here quite a lot. When it comes to searches, ImageLine wrote that Boolean searches would be possible. And indeed, I get different search results with and without quotes. Interesting is that the search already reacts to the first quote sign. No need for typing in the second. Normally, Boolean search include as well operators like AND, OR, or NOT. But these I cannot get to work here, or I am doing something wrong. Instead of working with the old snapshot system of the previous versions, you can add now single folders as new tabs. Just right-click a folder and say Open a new tab. Once you have created a new tab, a second entry appears where you can easily add other folders to your new tab. The added folders can be removed in the tab as well. You can clone tabs, rename them, move left and right, hide them or bring them back or of course delete them. Oh, and I forgot, of course you can give a different icon too. These are quite powerful and well thought out changes which let you customize and use the browser like never before. I am not sure if we have covered everything, but this is what comes to my mind in regards of the new changes and additions in the browser. Just two extra hints for those of you who aren't aware of these possibilities. You are not limited to this browser position. Just drag the browser with its title bar to move it either docking to the right or even as a floating window, where the new bigger size comes in handy. Use either the icon or even faster Alt F8 to toggle the browser visibility. Just something I found out by accident, no matter where your keyboard focus is set to, the shortcut Shift F8 activates immediately the plugins tab in the browser. This is all for today. If you like to try out the new beta, I post the link in the description where you can get the beta versions and have fun with the new changes. I wish you a wonderful time. Stay tuned and thank you for watching.